Hundreds of homeless people with nowhere else to go. So once they do get a coronavirus case, it's likely that it will have already spread. Saturday looked like any other day in the corridor of hope. They don't have access to masks. They don't have, you know, immediate access to washing their hands. They don't have access to the gloves. Hundreds of homeless standing shoulder to shoulder. Basically, because of the way the system is set up, you know, you were in line to get a bed, you were in line to get food. The care complex sees those lines daily, offering meals, storage and help in finding a job. But this weekend, the complex had to close. If they do need those bus passes, we're going to get them to them some way, somehow. They'll be doing what they can remotely. You know, it's, it's heartbreaking because, you know, someone that's experiencing homelessness already has so many barriers they have to get through. It's that much harder, you know, to get your ID, the DMV is closed, to get your social security card, the social security office is closed. So many services are closed right now. And that's going to increase the time that these individuals are on the street. On its website, the city of Las Vegas says frequent cleaning and disinfecting was already in place at the courtyard. A few days ago, Catholic Charities stepped up its cleaning at the shelter after an employee tested positive for coronavirus. It's one of those things that it's hard to socially distance yourself when you have to stay in a shelter or it's illegal to be on the street. So it's that catch-22, what do I do? And so Valley shelters and nonprofits are running out of cleaning supplies. The Nevada Homeless Alliance is collecting things like thermometers, gloves, face masks, bottled water, and hand sanitizer. Those will be handed out to charities that do help the homeless. For more information and how to donate, you can visit our website, fox5vegas.com. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local.